our trip will change quite a bit. I think we're going to have to pack this thing in a few days earlier than we were going to leave Disney World. And we'll cancel our trip to Destin and we'll have to head up north to Ohio. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you've had a wonderful week. If you missed last week's video, we left the Keys and we are now in Orlando, Florida at Disney's Fort Wilderness. Today we're headed to Magic Kingdom. Uh, I am in a rush. I forgot my sunglasses in the truck, so I had to run back down here, grab my sunglasses. Now I'm on the golf cart and heading back to the marina down here, which is one of the really cool parts about Fort Wilderness is this boat that takes you directly into Magic Kingdom. So you don't have to ride a bus, you don't have to pay for parking, you don't have to ride the trams and do all the things. You just hop on this boat. Nice little 10, 15 minute ride. Quiet, smooth, chill. Right into Magic Kingdom. So we are going to meet up with the girls. We'll hop on the boat. We'll see you at Magic Kingdom. Are you taking a YouTube video? Yeah. Hi, let's go. Today's forecast a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. It's the perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but I can't. On a platter, ready, honey, and no matter shots. Till I drop, drop, gonna be 24 7, golden hour like a boss. And they say, yo, guess you got a two o'clock appointment for a champagne shop for you. Yeah. I'm busy trying to take it higher, got no time for never, only spending cheddar. Wish I could do this forever. Chilling with the hottest company, they all wanna welcome me to their private penthouse suite. Yeah, now I got the key. Rooftop pool, got a heli on speed. Ocean view. Good morning. Good morning. Excited to be at Magic Kingdom? Yes, so excited. It really doesn't get much easier than that in terms of getting into a park. Security and the lines over here might be another situation, but getting here, it doesn't get any easier than that. You're ready to rock and roll. What's up? With the, what's the plan this morning? Where are we headed? Um, right now we're First. going to Peter Pan's flight and then hopefully Haunted Mansion and then whatever we can do, and then we got on Seven Dwarfs at 1.30. So you managed to schedule this stuff. This used to yeah. be called the Fast Pass, and what's it called now? Like Genie Plus, Lightning Lane, whatever. You basically have to pay to get Fast Passes now, which is kind of annoying. It's really dumb. You also had to get up at like six something this morning to be like on there first yeah. thing, because you can't schedule it till the day of. Right. And you can do it at 7 a.m., is that? You can schedule your first ride at seven. After you pay 60 bucks for all of us, to do that. It's pretty dumb. Another another good money grab. Good job, Disney. Good job. All right, Peter Pan. Is that, we just got through security and, and entering in like five seconds. It's because we were on the boat and there was no one, hardly anybody else. Hey, Kendall. Is that where you're going to live when you're older? Yeah. You're going to live in the castle? Yeah. Are you going to build your own castle? Gonna... Yeah, and it's going to be all pink. All pink. Kendall says she's going to build her own castle to live in. I bet she is. And Cameron said she's buying me a helicopter. Hannah, are you excited for your this is this like her first like big ride? I think so. I can't. I we did know. a few like little weird real kitty things last time we were here. Ah, oh, it always feels so good in here. The air conditioning. Even though you're still outside, they are pumping some cold air in here. This Peter Pan's flight is one of my favorite rides. I think it's a family favorite where it's suspended from overhead and you're flying in like a little, uh, I don't know, they're like a pirate ship, I guess. And it flies around through this thing. It's cool, it's great for the kids. I enjoy it. It's always cool in here, temperature-wise. I recommend it. It's a nice little break. All right, first ride in the books for the day. Give me five, let's go, let's go, all right. Hey Brandy, what's next? She never knows.
What's up, Dumbo? We haven't done the Dumbo ride in quite a while, huh? It's been many years. Kendall and I are getting ready to do the Haunted Mansion, and the last time we tried to do this, it's been a few years, someone chickened out. She was a little too scared, huh? Buck, buck. Buck, buck. Is he gonna be too scared this time, you think? Maybe? No. You've been wanting to do this this time. <laughs> are you? All right. Wish her luck. Wish me luck. Kendall, that was pretty awesome, huh? What'd you think? We're not so scared of it this time? It was scary, but it was fun. Yeah. But I believe it was really, really fake. To be honest. It was what? It was fake. It was fake? Why? Because it was fake. Oh, man. We have got to check on Hans because we had an issue with the AC unit in the bedroom, the second unit, which is something that I have fixed before we left, and what happens is the center divider comes loose and the air supply pumps out, but then it gets sucked right back into the intake and it sort of creates a cycle within itself and doesn't pump air out to uh, the air vents. And I discovered that the, this morning it had come loose again, so I did a quick fix on it, but I'm just checking on Hans. Cool. The biggest thing was the humidity. It wouldn't it wouldn't pull humidity out of the air. But you can see here we got we got 74 degrees and the humidity has come down to 60% instead of 66. So we're doing good. We can pull the humidity down. Can we get a frozen treat? We made it back from Magic Kingdom. This is probably gonna fog up because the humidity is still outrageous here. Although my AC repair did work well it is cold in there humidity is down inside so that's good but i'm having some issues with my truck um, before we left i took it to the dealership to kind of document a potential oil consumption problem we've driven i don't know 12 1500 miles probably at least since then so i need to check the oil but the transmission now was doing some weird stuff a very harsh clunking downshift when coming to a stop it's kind of a known uh, issue or sort of common thing uh, on some of these Chevy trucks. But this is like bad. Like it's like a real <clears throat> jerking clunk. So I'm going to check the trans fluid at least and just make sure it's not low or something weird. But I may have to get that dealt with too. This thing's only got 30, 33,000 miles on it. So I want to try to document anything I can now with dealerships while it's still under warranty. If it was out of warranty, I'll just diagnose it myself and figure it out and fix it. But that's not the case. We got a warranty to play with and take advantage of and leverage if we can. Ugh. Why do they do this? This is just another one of those stupid cases. So a lot of modern vehicles you cannot check the transmission fluid level with a dipstick anymore. You have to go underneath. Some cars require a special tool. Some you have to pull a plug out and just feel for the fluid, uh, see if it's overflowing. If it is, it's full enough. If it's not, add, it's a whole thing. Why not just give us an old school dipstick? I can't even check the trans fluid level. That's great. It's really annoying. All right, well, let's see how the uh, oil level's doing since that's been a situation. Let's clean this off. Last time I had the dealership do this, and after a couple thousand miles, uh, I got a low oil level light came on and I checked it and I ended up adding two quarts of oil over, I don't know, maybe 4,000, 5,000 miles or so. That's a problem. Uh, and it looks like, looks like we still have a problem. It's, it's low. Probably about a quart low, which is kind of on par with the situation I had last time. 
And the problem I'm about to run into right now is I can't just add oil because that'll throw off the consumption test that the dealership is doing and, and has documented how much oil they've added, how many miles I'm driving, and then they'll measure the amount of oil on the next time I bring it in. But if I add oil, they'll throw it off. So I almost have to contact them and let them know I have to add oil or document it or something. Otherwise, that test is void. And by the time we get around to doing it again, this thing will be out of warranty. So I'm in a little bit of a pickle. Hi, Kendall. Hey, hey did you have fun at Magic Kingdom today? Yeah. What was your favorite ride? Um, Seven Dwarfs. Mine Train? Well, my second favorite was Haunted Mansion. Yeah? But you were so scared of that before. I know, but it was really, it was actually really fun. Yeah. I also just talked to my mother today, who was at my house, and said that there was an issue with the air conditioning at my house, so I had to call a good friend of mine, HVAC guy, to go to my house and go deal with that. I guess that the drain pipe isn't draining and the it's backed up with water, tripped the float switch, but also filled the pan with water. So I got all kinds of problems and stuff going on today. It's just always something, always. We were gonna go back to Magic Kingdom tonight and go hang out late enough. We're gonna go eat dinner and then watch the fireworks and do all that sort of thing. Um, but it's just been like on and off raining for the last couple hours and it's calling for more rain so we're not going to go just put ourselves into an uncomfortable miserable rainy situation uh, so we're just going to go go out grab a bite to eat try something different something new and uh live to fight another day i guess i just got some pretty pretty upsetting news no it has nothing to do with my truck i don't care about my truck right now i talked to my mom who told me my grandfather has passed away sort of suddenly he fell and he was fine and then he sort of suddenly passed they think that maybe there were some other issues going on but anyways our trip will change quite a bit i think we're gonna have to pack this thing in a few days earlier than we were going to leave disney world and we'll cancel our trip to Destin and we'll have to head up north to Ohio um, for a service for him. So if there is a sort of lack of videos or anything like that for some period of time, although there should be, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I just wanted to give you guys sort of that update. <sighs> it sucks. He was a legend, this guy. Been there, done that, he did it all. Nicest guy in the world too. All right, I hope, hopefully I see you guys next week.